Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. So I recently procured a fancy induction hot plate for use here in the shop, mostly with the intent to use it for tempering steel. Now, I already made a video about sort of unboxing it and trying out its capabilities, but today I want to put it to the real test of actually tempering some steel uh, tensile test specimens and see if I can get better properties than I have in the past. Um, uh, as a control group for a point of comparison, I'll probably make some specimens of 4140 steel that I quench and temper just using a torch as I have traditionally in the past. Um, again, that'll give us a, a reference point. Uh, and then I want to make some specimens to temper with the hot plate, uh, both uh, in air and in an oil bath at various temperatures. And then I also want to try out the os tempering process. You know, in a traditional quench and temper heat treatment, you'll take your piece of steel and you'll austenize it by heating it up to 2000 degrees Fahrenheit or so. Uh, you know, you'll quench it in water or oil so it comes back down to room temperature and then you'll reheat it to the tempering temperature and hold it at that tempering temperature for, you know, however long. With the os tempering process, you never go down to room temperature. You know, you just take your piece of steel and you austenize it, you know, up to 2000 degrees Fahrenheit or whatever, and then you have a heated quench medium that's already at the tempering temperature. So you take your, you know, hot piece of steel and you quench it right down to the tempering temperature, and then you just hold it at that temperature for however long. And so in addition to saving some time, the os tempering process allegedly produces superior mechanical properties in most types of steel. Uh, so I'm interested to try that out and with an oil bath on the hot plate, I don't see any reason why I can't. Um, so without further ado, let's get to it. Well, the results are in, and the sample of 4140 steel that I tempered by my traditional method just using a torch broke at a tensile stress of 171 KSI. 
That's actually a new record for me. Uh, when I've tested samples with similar heat treatment in the past, typically they've broken at a stress of around 140 to 145 KSI. So I'm not sure quite why this one was stronger than usual. As to the samples that I tempered using the hot plate, Interestingly enough, the sample that I tempered in an oil bath at 450 degrees Fahrenheit and the sample that I tempered in air at 650 degrees Fahrenheit broke at exactly the same tensile stress, at least within the uh, measurement capabilities of my equipment. Uh, both of them broke at around 92 KSI. Meanwhile, the sample that I os-tempered in a bath of oil at 450 degrees Fahrenheit broke at a tensile stress of 155 KSI. So, anecdotally at least, uh, this does seem to lend some credence to the idea that os-tempering produces superior mechanical properties. Now, I am wondering about the consistency of these results because I only tested one sample with each heat treatment. And particularly in the case of the uh, torch tempered sample, I'm wondering if that tensile strength would be repeatable. Uh, and so at some point I may have to repeat this experiment with a larger number of samples and see how consistent the results are. Uh, but for now, thank you for watching The Idahoan Show.